Hello guys, today I'm here with a new tutorial, and in this video I'm gonna show, how to install macOS Big Sur on laptop. So before starting, if you haven't subscribed to our channel, then please go and subscribe to our channel and stay connected for the latest updates. So guys, let's start. For this purpose you'll require, macOS Big Sur installer, which can be downloaded via Apple Developer ID, command file, for creating macOS USB, open cork configurator, for mounting EFI partitions, and EFI preset, according to your system specification. For creating EFI, follow the guide for my button. And don't worry guys, all the download links are provided, under video in the description. And also USB with minimum 16 gigabytes is required for the process. So, the first step is to create macOS installer USB. For that plug your USB, and as you can see the USB appeared here. Now, open Disk Utility, and erase the USB with following parameters. Click on Done, and close Disk Utility, and Utilities as well. Now, open the command file, and copy the whole command, and paste it to terminal and press Enter key. Enter your password, press Y key to confirm. And now, the macOS install USB is being created. The USB has been created, close and quit terminal, and open, open cork configurator, and mount the EFI partition, of your USB flash drive. Close and quit open cork configurator, and copy the EFI folder, and paste it to the EFI partition of USB flash drive. Close the folder, and copy open cork configurator, and paste it to USB. Close the folder, and eject the EFI partition, and USB as well. And now, we are ready to install macOS Big Sur. Before getting into the process, let's talk about our today's sponsor. eDrawMax is an all-in-one diagramming tool that can serve all of your purposes. It is available for Windows, macOS, Linux, and online using. Whether you need to draw flowcharts, UML diagrams, or design floor plans and office layouts, you can find what you want in eDrawMax. eDrawMax provides solutions for more than 280 types of diagrams. It is the best Visio alternative. eDrawMax provides 50,000 ready-made symbols and over 2,000 built-in templates, drag-and-drop interface and Microsoft Office-like user interface to get started easily. Saving and exporting to different file formats is easy in eDrawMax. It is compatible with a variety of file formats such as Microsoft Visio, Word, Excel, PDF, JPG, SVG, and many others as well. Affordable prices make eDrawMax the best alternative for just a fraction of a price. All information and file transfers are secured with the highest level of SSL encryption. Get your eDrawMax today. Links for this amazing software are provided in the description. eDrawMax an all-in-one diagramming tool. Power on your laptop and press delete key to enter your BIOS. And now, restore the default settings of your BIOS and exit saving the changes. Your laptop will restart. Boot back to BIOS. Now change the following settings. Go to exit tab and exit the BIOS saving changes. Now, Plug Mac OS Big Sur USB and boot to boot menu. Select USB followed by the UEFI prefix, and press enter to boot. So, here is only install Mac OS beta showing. As I'm using new SSD, press enter to boot. Select Disk Utility, and click on Continue. Click on View, 
and select show all devices, and select your drive instead of any partitions, and erase it with following parameters. Click on done, and close disk utility. Now, select install Mac OS, and click on continue, and proceed with the installer. Select Macintosh HD, and click on install. And guys, your laptop will restart several times during installation, so don't worry about that. And wow we've booted to Big Sur, and now continue with the setup. Continue with the keyboard setup. And now, copy the open core configurator to your desktop, close the folder, and open, open core configurator, and mount the EFI partition of both. USB and system drive as well. Close and quit open core configurator, and copy the EFI folder, from EFI partition of USB, and paste it to the system drive. By doing this step, you will be easily able to boot directly without USB. Close the folder, eject both EFI partitions, and USB as well. Click on Apple logo, click on restart, and uncheck the box, and click on restart. Now, let's check our hardware, to check if everything is working or not. The audio in the audio hotkeys works perfectly. The Bluetooth is working. Wi-Fi is working. Let's have a look at another stuffs. Trackpad is being detected, and working as well with gestures.
the battery meter works. Internet is working. Let's check the sleep wake. Sleep wake is also working. Now let's check the hardware specifications. So finally, macOS Big Sur has been installed on laptop, which is fully functional. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you have any questions, just comment down below. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe. And for more updates stay connected, and have a great day.